was doing in 2003 was I, I did my Abitur. <laughs> so I was still going to school. In 2003, I was in high school, actually. 2003 was a special year for me as well. Uh, that's when I graduated from school. And since then, I, have of course, went to university. I did a PhD um, and then started working for Electrobit. Uh, I think a lot of things have changed over the last 20 years. So first of all, 20 years ago, I, I wasn't married. I am married today. We have two kids, teenagers now. It's been a great journey, right? I first heard from Autosar was like at Electrobit, you know, when you go to the canteen, there was this huge poster which said um, like, we bring Autosar to the road. And that was where I first heard or saw about Autosar and was wondering, okay, what is it? At the beginning, Autosar was new to the industry and there were only a handful of partners working on the standard and working on products around the standard. Today, we talk about a globally applied standard and therefore also our work has become much more global than it was uh, 20 years ago. Well, what Autosar really changed in the marketplace was that uh, the players understood that um, a standardized software platform for a car is a big advantage. First encounter literally happened before uh, Autosar hit Electrobit. We were showcasing what uh, is today Ibetrezos at the uh, Electronic in the Vehicles trade show in Baden-Baden. And uh, at the same time, as part of the Congress, Autosar was presented. And uh, we quickly learned that uh, the Autosar concept required a flexible configuration tool, which was the key part of uh, what we presented in Tresos. Uh, it seemed like a perfect match, and it became a perfect match. <laughs> uh, trying to find out uh, which microcontroller it was, which compiler, which linker, uh, what sort of code need, needed to be written, what communication protocols, and you had to redo this every time you went from one ECU program to the other. But today when I look back, it feels like uh, middleware comes out like uh, out of the box, works completely on its own as long as you've got the SWCs right. In the beginning, and the local team uh, didn't have too much experience uh, regarding the auto stacks. Also, uh, we use this chance uh, to grow with customer together. Autosar brought a lot of um, uh, obviously standardization, but also helping our customer to focus on what matter for them. Autosar has changed the automotive software world. We've gone from real-time controllers over the multi-core revolution over to adaptive Autosar going to high performance controllers and the next challenge ahead is going to be the software defined vehicle and automotive OS.